Hi, welcome to Adventure RV Group here in Napa, California. Today I want to talk about the 2022 Forest River Wolf Pup 16 BHS BL. The BL is for black label. That's why you're going to get the smooth fiberglass sides. You're going to get the off-roady tire, this diamond plating. I love the look of this. And then on the frameless windows, that's also keeping it so you can open up the windows on a rainy day. And it looks really, really sleek. So on this model, we have an electronic front tongue jack. Makes for lowering and raising this onto your truck really nice and easy. What I like about that is anything electric, we're always scared of it breaking down. If it does, you can pop this open and hand crank it. Doesn't happen that often. You've got your five gallon propane tank on the front that we fill up for you on purchase. And then you'll get a 12 volt battery on the front as well. Over here, we've got a really decent sized baggage door. This will be able to fit your tiki torches, your chairs, all sorts of storage bins and stuff for keeping you organized. And this other little cubby is your outside electric fridge. Oh, <laughs> wrong side. <laughs> so this will be handy for keeping Capri Suns, beer, whatever you can imagine in here, easy access less little dirty footprints going all the way through. You do have weatherproof outside speakers with LED lighting. It's great for having music out front. Um, also, if you set up a television, you can plug in here and play the t cable TV, either hanging on the side of the unit or on a TV right here. Um, oh, they set this up for your TV to hang. Up here we have our electric awning. The electric awning does come out quite a bit. On a really, really windy day, you definitely wanna bring this in for safekeeping. But on those hot summer days, having your own shade is really, really nice. Definitely my favorite hangout spot is out front, LED lights on, and the speaker's going. There it is. Over here, you've got your green cap, which is showing that your air is filled up to the right amount of pressure. If it starts to show red, put some air in that sucker. You do have four stabilizer jacks on the Wolf Pup. That's gonna keep all four corners of the unit stabilized and not rocking around. You've got your leash, la leash latch here for Fido. I like that because when we tie our dog up, he's always getting into things. Having it on the back side of the unit really helps him stay out of the way. And around back here, you have your luggage latch. Your luggage latch can carry 200 pounds with the spare tire on. If you take this spare tire and keep it anywhere else, maybe throw it in the back of the truck, you can carry 240 pounds of supplies. Um, just make sure you properly tie it down. Also on the back of the Wolf Pup, now they come with a backup camera. I love the backup camera. It still doesn't take away real eyes of your spouse or friend back here guiding you, but it sure can help. Then, voila, this is added storage. This is bikes, generator, loading, easy loading. You don't have to lift something up, hold it with your back while you're loading things in. It's really, really nice and convenient storage space. And you do have an outside work light here in case you're hooking up, dumping at night or early, early in the morning, you have access to that. Um, back on this back side, you do have your dump station. You do have your power cord hookup. These all come equipped with a 25 foot cord that you can plug in, 30 amp system. And then one of my favorite locations back here is this outside shower. It is plenty tall to reach over anyone's head. It gets the muddy boots, or if your dog has gone and run through the river, the mud, the sand, this will also clean them off. And then your fill up is your fresh water connection, your city water connection. This is your fresh water reservoir. This goes into the tank in the bottom of the wolf pup. And then your city water connection will be hooked up if you have hookups and water at the site. And this is your DSI hot water heater. I'm making a point to bring this out because this does two things. It's, well, it's heating your water in two power forms. It's gonna be an electric hot water heater here with the button down here, or the button inside of the unit will heat it 
propane. Uh, that makes it nice in case something malfunctions. We want to make sure that you don't have to come home for any reason. Come on inside. The 16 BHS. BHS stands for bunkhouse. So you'll be able to sleep two, four, five people in this unit if you want a, a full house. <laughs> that might be too many for some, but just right for the right family. Um, you do have your stereo system. It will connect via Bluetooth to your cell phone or iPad or iPod, whatever you're using these days. Um, you have a heater on this unit. You have an air conditioner on this unit. 13.5 BTU it works really, really great on hot, hot days. And queen size bed. A lot of these short bunk houses will give you a double bed. They don't shortchange you. They give you a real 60 by 80 inch bed. And they finally got smart, gave you a handle and easy access to the storage in the front area. That makes it so just because you've forgotten something underneath here, you don't have to go all the way outside to get it. And the kitchen has a one piece solid countertop. It's very, very much like Corian. It feels really nice and cool to the touch. It's not gonna be um, susceptible to much liquid and water. Just be careful with hot surfaces on it. And then you've got this great bowl. Uh, you've got this kitchen sink that is easy to operate. I love that, it's better than my kitchen. The sanitation station, it's got a refillable bottle underneath there for you. And then your range stove with LED lights. You always got to throw in that little extra party lighting. This is your 10 cubic foot refrigerator. Let me step out of the way. 10 cubic foot refrigerator. You can pack in almost the entire refrigerator at home. <laughs> and back here, you've got your bathroom. What I like about it, as usual, they're not combining the toilet and the shower. You have your individual toilet and your individual shower that leaves it nice and roomy with your fantastic large blade fan in the bathroom. One other thing I wanna point out in here is your voltage meter. This is really nice, especially for the newbies out there. You're not gonna know how much battery power you're using. That's gonna tell you when it's charging. Right now we're plugged into the wall, so it's above the 12 volts. It's charging at 13.6, 13.8. When you're using it, it should be at 12 volts. When it gets down into that low 11, 10, you gotta get a charge on it. And I think that's it for the 16 BHSBL. Like and share. Thanks, guys.